Good morning, Earthlings. Joel at Earth Tools here, and we're going to talk today about adjusting the safety control cable on a BCS PowerSafe tractor. This tractor here is a BCS 749. The same uh, system applies to any of the PowerSafe BCS tractors, 739, 749, uh, 750, 770, 779, 660, and the very few 740s that are running around North America. Anyway, what we're talking about is this lever here and the cable associated with it. This is the safety control lever for the power safe. When you let this go, the clutch of the tractor opens up and drive is disengaged. Uh, as you can see, there's way too much slack in this cable. I mean, this is half, of, more than half of the movement of this lever is used up in just cable slack. So we need to tighten the cable. Um, we have another video uh, specific to power safe uh, clutch cable adjustment where we talk about both these cables, both the clutch lever cable on the bottom and the safety lever cable on the top. But we're going to talk specifically about the safety lever cable today because there's a little trick I want to share with you about adjusting that. So anytime that you've got a cable that's loose, what has to be done in order to, sh to tighten it is that the sheathing of the cable, which is the outer black part, which is hard to see up here at the top. Actually, let's go to the bottom end. If we track this cable down, <coughs> it's actually this cable, uh, let's see, right here. It's this cable right here. So this is the outer sheathing of the cable. It's the black outer part of the cable. The cable passes through the center of this. So let's get our nomenclature right. This is the sheath. The cable is what's on the inside, the, the steel part like this. That's actually the differential lock cable there. The other cable is under here, you can't quite see it, but we saw it at the top end. That cable goes continuously under this bracket and hooks up right here. So this is the end of the cable. Again, you can see the, the wound steel part of the cable there, and then the eyelet at the very end. So. Uh, you can see how much slack is in this cable because I can move this sheathing inside and out. I shouldn't be able to move that sheathing this much. So anytime we want to tighten any cable, we want to, uh, uh, the sheathing essentially has to be pushed back away from the anchor point of the cable in order to take the slop out. Okay? That's the idea. The other way to do it, if you had a cable that was adjusted through a clamp, like if the, if the end of this cable went through some kind of a clamp with a cinch bolt, you could just loosen up the cinch bolt, pull more cable through, and tighten it down again, and that would take the slack out. In this case, this is a fixed length cable. It has an eyelet on one end, has a knob on the other end. You can't adjust the length of the cable, but you can adjust the sheath length in relation to the cable by using this hollow adjustment bolt. That's what this is my finger is on right here. The hollow adjustment bolt needs to be adjusted so that it goes this way and pushes this cable sheathing back to use up this slop, just like I'm doing with my fingers right now, pulling this thing back. We want this bolt to be in that direction. So how do we do that? We just loosen up these jam nuts right here. A couple 13 millimeter wrenches. The one under here. Now I've removed the, the tray that was up here. There was like a plastic toolbox thingy. Uh, and the electric start models have an actual battery box here, which is a little harder to work under, but you can take that off as well. It's just four nuts to remove the battery box or the uh, toolbox support, which is goofy looking anyway. <clears throat> so I'm going to need to reach under here and hold the one jam nut. There's two jam nuts cinching this in place. You see this is the black metal bracket that supports the whole cable assembly. You got a jam nut on the inside and a jam nut on the outside. I'm going to need to hold one so I can loosen the other, otherwise they'll both turn at once. Okay, so I've loosened up that jam nut. Now the thing is loose. Uh, so what I'm going to do now is just hold both jam nuts with my fingers, just put my fingertips against them, and back this adjustment bolt out. Right, you can see less of the bolt, if you pull the camera up over the top, see how more of the bolt is threading through this one here as I screw it in. That's increasing the amount of slack. I want to decrease the amount of slack, so I want to back it out like this. Now, I can only go so far because otherwise I'll thread it through that nut entirely. So I'm screwing it right up to the end of the nut, and then I'll tighten this nut down a little bit. Now, I just moved that bolt back that way a quarter of an inch. Now our slack is basically gone. We got a little bit of slack, but that's 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 fine. We, a little bit of slack is acceptable in that cable. 
we've gotten rid of most of it. I'll use my wrenches again. One on the bottom to hold this. Such an awkward thing. This could have been a lot better engineered, but whoops, I'm going the wrong way. So I want to tighten these back down against each other, firm them up, and boom, that's it. Totally tight. Slack is basically gone. We go back up to the top. Again, most of the slack is gone here now, and this movement is doing what it's supposed to be doing and actually pulling the lever down at the bottom. Now, on most of the other cables on a BCS machine, you've got cable adjustment hollow bolts at the top end of the cables. You can see that on the clutch lever, you can see it on the brake levers, you can see it on the uh, handlebar adjustment lever, the reverse cable, differential lock, all that stuff. One that doesn't have it is the safety switch on the power safe machine. That's why we had to adjust it at the bottom. Now, it would have been a lot easier to adjust the hollow bolt here, which of course, in this case, this is welded onto the handlebar, so all you need to do is loosen one jam nut, back out the bolt to remove the slack, or screw in the bolt to increase the slack, right? Well, we didn't really need to adjust that one, I was just doing it to demonstrate. It would be so nice if they had an adjustment, a hollow adjustment bolt like that on this cable at the top end where you didn't have to fight with all that linkage at the bottom under that bracket. So, and the other thing is they don't give you, even though that hollow bolt at the bottom is, you know, had that much threads on it, you can only use about the last half inch of them because the cable is so long from the factory that even when it's brand new, there's only that much adjustment bolt sticking out. So you only have a half an inch of adjustment room. BCS really needs to make that cable a little shorter at the factory to give you more availability of that whole adjustment bolt length. But since they didn't do that, you can also adjust it up here at the top. Now this is a total will fit and this is an Earth Tools generated solution. Um, but what I did to this one, because this cable got stretched out so bad that that cable adjustment at the bottom wouldn't quite do it. You saw I had to back that bolt out completely. Well, with the original cable length, that wouldn't do it anymore. I would have had to replace the cable. But I wanted to band-aid the thing and, and keep myself from replacing the cable. So what I did is I introduced some shims up here at the top. I'm going to demonstrate these by removing them, but you can see there's two little washers right in there. This is the end of the cable sheathing, this metal sleeve right here. Well, those two little washers you see, those two little things right there are washers I inserted in there to take up some extra slop. It just pushes the sheathing that way a little more and allowed that cable to be used a little longer. How I did this was that I had to disconnect the cable at the top end. Now, there's not enough slack here to do that. Normally, you'd have to get this up out of this handle. Well, there's not enough slack. So what I did, I depressed the lever like this, which pulled the lever down there on the engine. We can bring the camera down here and see what it looks like. That's what that cable is doing down there. So I depressed it down and then I simply held this. And I let go of the lever at the top. And now look, I've got all this slack because the, the thing at the bottom is being held in place. So I popped this out. Then, Pull this, this cable is right here, it comes out right here, so I can pull this back and then expose the end of this thing. These washers I modified. I took a hacksaw and I cut a slot in them. That slot is so that it can slide over the cable. So now that I've got that thing pulled back and the cable is exposed, I can slide that slot right down over the washer, slide it through the hole right there and bang. That's how I got my two washers in there. And you could put up to, since that sleeve is pretty long, you could get up to about four washers in there to increase the lifespan of the cable before you have to replace it. Now I need to get this hook back in here. I'm going to have to go down to the bottom, bring my finger here, push this linkage in. Okay, that gives me the slack I need in the cable to get this hooked back in. I could do this because I have, uh, you know, a huge wingspan. If you don't have as big a wingspan, I can't see what I'm doing. I'm doing this with feel. Uh, get in the hole. There we go. Yep, and you're good to go. As usual, in any power safe machine, you have to compress the bottom 
before you push down the top. On the other BCS models that don't have the power save clutch, you push the top down first because that's just your engine safety switch. But on each power save model, it's bottom first, then the top. If you don't pull the bottom first, the top is not unlocked. And when you try to push this down without, without squeezing the bottom first, that's when you stretch out this upper cable. So, uh, warning to the wise there. Bottom, top, good to go. Thanks for watching.